ऑटोमोटिव क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट 15 एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ दैट यू कैन लर्न इट विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल इन योर इंटरव्यू पर्सपेक्टिव एज वेल एज द वर्क यू आर डूइंग सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन हिल इफ यू आर नॉट वर्किंग इन हिल आल्सो यू कैन हैव अ वंडरफुल अपॉर्चुनिटी टू लर्न नो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द प्लान सिमुलेटर एंड प्लान मॉडल यस इफ यू मेंशनड इन योर प्रोफाइल दैट यू हैव अ एक्सपीरियंस एंड हैंड्स ऑन नॉलेज इन द प्लान दैट इज हिल head testing or uh, development then the question you may expect is what is plan simulator and what is plan model so plan simulator or a plan model so this is a kind of uh, hill environment that i have given and uh, this picture speaks two things one is the autozar that is uh, see this is rte that is a uh, runtime environment then uh, this is a bsw and this is a asw so i say so have given the straight uh, statement that what is bsw and asw so it is a input and this is the output and the middleware is the rte so this is a kind of hill environment this is a device and a test that is a ecu so i don't want to speak more about this and the communication channel is the can bus we have been used so let's have a focus on plan simulator so plan simulator is a one that um, makes the sense for uh, creating the hill setup that is hardware in the loop environment so here you can have that dashboard kind of thing you can have a sensor you can have the actuators you can have a power supply you can have the sim, uh, signal processing unit and so on so what exactly the plan simulator is so the plan simulator is one that can simulate your uh, ecu say for example if this is a airbag ecu or if this is a accelerator then uh, if you if you have coded the your code has been flashed in this ecu and you are giving the accelerator the actuator makes the motor to run and it will calculates the speed that is from the wheel speed sensor and again it will send you the output but where it will send you the output then where you can give the input so i i just mentioned just now i said that you can add the acceleration you can give the acceleration to 80% 90% or 100% but where you will add where you will accelerate where you will observe yes so this is a plan simulator which is useful for accelerating uh, that is uh, the real time actuation that is the physical hardware uh, has been simulated and actuated but exactly where you can observe is called plant model yes so before that so this is just again a kind of uh, hill setup so it's a hill there is a plant then here we have ecu debugger then the measurement devices then the tools like analyzer or keno then the diagnostics and so on this is a kind of hill environment there is a plan similar the hill setup so let's so this is exactly the plan similar is then what is the plant model let's have a look on it what is plant model so plant model is nothing but the replication for the hill plant simulator used in the hill simulator see for this replication yes for this the replication is plant model see uh, the reason behind the then anyhow you have the plant simulator then what is the reason behind the plant model is it really necessary yes of course the answer is yes the reason behind the plant model is say if you want to propel the car that is if you want to accelerate your vehicle so what you can do you cannot have any switch you cannot have any controller uh, to touch this as it is so costly it will cost around you know 1 to 2 crores so you can have the car makers uh, hardware you can have a etas you can have a d space it will it will cost around 1 crore 2 crore or 80 lakhs it's the minimum is 80 lakh 90 lakh so to not to damage this and uh, you you are not allowed to you know controls uh, specific you know around 80% of the controls cannot be done through this plant simulator for that you have the thing is called plant model so this is a kind of plant model just the user interface differs from the oem to oem or a supplier to supplier so if you want to accelerate yes you can give the accelerator pedal position then you can observe here that is your input will go to the ecu then the ecu sends to the plant simulator and a plant simulator just actuates and from the wheel speed sensor you can uh, get this then it will uh, it will just uh, sh- show the value in the odometer or uh, speedometer then um, in the similar way you can have the steering angle sense uh, steering angle uh, parameter here so if you make uh, you know turn the steering angle then it will again go to the ecu then to the plant simulator then the steering angle sensor will just uh, calculate that senses the 
amount of steering have been done then it will again gives you the exact uh, figure so like this you can have a n number of parameters that you can uh, you can just uh, simulate through the plant model that is a replicate for the plant simulator then you can do so this is uh, generally for the application software but if you if, if you want to deal with the hardware and software then you have to completely deal with the plant simulator you cannot interact with the plant model if you interact with the plant model then there is a no sense of developing the hardware and software so moreover the the hardware and software kind of uh, codes will be more and more you know secured there will be if there is any any over voltage kind of stuff then it will automatically it will trip the entire uh, simulator so that much um, you know security and safety has been given for this so in this tutorial is we want to give you the more clarity about what is plant model and what is the plant simulator so plant simulator is nothing but it's a hardware and for uh, replication for this uh, simulator is a plant model so plant model is a replica for the plant simulator so this is what uh, we just wanted to give you a introduction so you can just uh, have more look look uh, look into uh, more uh, online stuff so that you will get more and more so if you are not subscribe our channel you can subscribe and uh, you can find more interesting stuff in our description so catch you in another tutorial yes use your time wisely until then bye